Good evening and welcome back to Music Scrap, Musical Scrapper, making an album part two. My sound was getting a little wonky, so I had to restart my Chrome. Anyway, so we're going to continue on here. People are refreshing so that they get me back. And I'm going to use, so I just uh, made the front back cover. I just attached um, some burlap on the binding. So now I'm just going to go around the edge of the burlap with my black pit pen just to uh, give it a little bit of a life here. A little definition on the edge there. Okay, let me know right away, please, if it happens again. It always seems to happen right at about the hour and 15 minute, hour and a half mark. So I may just have to always do recording sessions, sections. I don't know why it does it, but anyway. It doesn't happen in any of my other programs when I record. Of course, I never record for this length of time with any other programs, so that could also be it. There we go. So it just gives a little definition there on the edges. You passed, Teresa. Everyone's refreshing, I guess. Okay, so there's the cover, the outside cover done. So now this needs to go in. All right. All right, so. Oh, I should have made sure that, okay, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to do just the middle for now. Yeah, there, I used that two and a half inch and then I don't even, now I don't even want to take it all off because I only want to stick the binding at the moment. All right, so I just took the paper, took the double-sided backing off, just the binding except here I went too far. There we go. It is working, Teresa. I see you. I see Vaughn. I don't know if I see anyone else. It looks like... Hello, everybody. I don't know if everybody else has chat or not. But I see... I see Teresa and I see Vaughn. I hope people got chat back after that refresh. Darn it. All right, so I line this up in the middle of the binding. And if I measured correctly, the quarter inch and the quarter inch should be right on the edge. And it is. So I'm just going to sit it down there. Then on this side, I need to make sure it goes nice and flat. So I want to pull it on either edge there and then take my bone folder and go inside each of these to make sure the adhesive adheres 
to the binding. Ah, welcome back, Sharon. Welcome back, Paula. Woo. Hey, Mitz. Janet. Okay, good. Whew. Well. Yeah, often when it comes back, if you're already in chat, it comes on as a black screen, so you often have to reboot, refresh. All right, fold that quarter inch there now. Fold that quarter inch. Okay, so now I can take off the rest of this. Oops. <laughs> yes, I tell Eileen to refresh as well, but she can't hear me, so that wouldn't work, would it? <laughs> goes down. I'd hear it very well. And even though score tape is a dry glue, it does cure over 24 hours. So to become permanent, even though it does stick. All right, so now I need to do, and I want to do just a light score here on the fold as I fold the book in. Same thing on this side. Oh, sorry. I didn't quite get it in the middle, but that's okay. Almost. Almost. Well, that's pretty close. Okay. So I can put a nice pocket on the front and the back also, especially the front. into my head. Why would that song pop into my head? Who knows? I'm the strange, it's, it's weird. No idea. Okay, so now I can decide on my inside pages. If I can find my paper pack. What do I do with my paper pack? Oh, it's got to be over here somewhere. Where'd it go? Someone stole my paper pack. Oh, there it is. I just shoved it in a little too far. I couldn't see it. All right, so... What am I going to do on the inside front covers? I usually like to do something somewhat plain on the inside covers. Okay. I did, I was. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, Jeannie, bye. Ooh, I might do that on the inside cover. Or that would be cool. Hmm. 
text. That'll go on pages, the music. Hmm, maybe that. Hmm. Or the brick wall. Okay, I think maybe. All right, it's either this or this on the inside cover. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for this. This little color on the inside cover, I believe. Paula is trying to do the citrus salt with her cold. Yeah. Did I get him? I don't know. Okay. Sorry. Distracted by a fly. All right. Now. So. Seven and seven eighths inches. Actually, I'm gonna do seven and three thirteen sixteenths, but I won't tell you that. I want this for. And so for this, I need my black. Hold on. Sharon. Oh boy. I will not comment on the conversation in chat at the moment, but it is funny. So if you want to see the real chat, you got to come and join us live for even more fun. I think what I'll do first is go along the edges, get my edges done. And then I'll worry about trying to match the yummy smeariness, smearage. I might have to do that with my marker instead of the try it just on one little edge here see what happens see if I can get it to smear enough to match ah that's not too bad I guess
I think the just the ink will work better, I think. Remember, I am president of Club BAM, so don't hold your breath on that. You could be saved by the fact that I am president of Club BAM. I know front so that's gonna go on the front this one is going on the front yeah same here Sharon I saw her YouTubes on the art from the couch and then I heard her talk about Ustream and of course, I had to come over and the rest is history. That way I found Dee Dee and Rach. And met all the non-streamers too. Cause she thinks it's too cute mitts that's why she doesn't want to use it you know how you make all this nice stuff and then you don't want to use it you want to just like look at it so Put your camera on macro setting and uh, take a photo. Oh, I like that. I love that. Nice stuff. I can't see the text on this to know which way is right side up.
Hold on. I'm going to get my phone magnifying glass app here. <sighs> Walks. Yeah, that's the way. Okay. All right. I'm going to see who's been tweeting me here. Who's been tweeting? Oh, okay. That was just... All right. Okay. <clears throat> just a moment. Need a drink? Actually, I'm not so sure they would work, Paula, because I still have to get so close that I'd be knocking my nose on the thing. My iPhone magnifying app works perfectly because it gives me the light from my phone. I can hold it where I need it. You can focus it. It'll autofocus or you can put it on lock. I, need, I use it when I read menus in restaurants. It's a wonderful app. Just the ways my eyes work, the magnifying, I still have to be like close. It's, it's hard to explain. So, take the backing off first, and then I'll add my. Glue stick. Can't even remember if I put glue stick on the front cover one or not. Can't remember. I meant to, but I can't remember if I did or not. <coughs> oh well, whatever. It's only the it's the inside cover, so it won't get as much wear and tear as the front cover on the outside. <sighs> and this is to Sarah's glue stick. They were like a buck each, so I couldn't resist, and they seem to work extremely well. So. Yes, it's a free app on the iPhone anyway. Don't know about Androids. Vaughn steered me to it. It's called Mag Mag Light, I think. And it's a magnifying glass on a blue screen is the icon. Okay. All right. Now, so there's the cover, all done, and that burlap works wonderfully. The glue is holding it nice and snug, perfect. All right, so now the pages, the pages. So, two on that last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the only difference in the page between my sister's, the way I did my sister's, and mine, is that hers is just eight inches and has no, um, 
pocket on the bottom. And then I'll, I'll show you how I do the flip, how I did the flips for her uh, pick photos. So, ten and a half. I'm going to, actually, I'm just going to check and see if it's 12 inch, a good 12 inches. It's a perfect 12 inches that way. Usually cardstock is, yeah. So I can take off 10 and a half, so I can take off an inch and a half. So I just need to take off an inch and a half, which is this width right there. Oh, Jenna, this amazing artist is right. Oh, this blade seems to be getting dull. It's not too bad. I'll do two, two at a time here. It'll go through two easily. Just have to make sure they're lined up nicely. Okay, so there's seven cut. my ranger bone folder in my scoreboard because I didn't like the one that came with the Martha Stewart scoreboard and I don't like the Martha Stewart one either because it's too pointy it goes through paper this one is much nicer okay so I need to make sure I hold it the right way so the first score is on the short side the ten and a half inch side at two and a half inches. That's going to be my pocket. Okay, then I'm going to turn it. And uh, half an inch whoops six and one eighth which is the first score after the six and six and three eighths which is the third score after the six and that's it so each page is the same way Now, Paula, don't get confused because I'm holding my scoreboard sideways. Oh, I should back out a little bit. Hold on. Let me zoom out a little. I didn't realize you couldn't see my whole scoreboard here. Wow, it seems to be zoomed way in. Why is it zoomed? Is it just zoomed in that far since it came back or what? Whew. Okay. Now I need to refocus again. Hold on. I need to autofocus again. Because I switched. Move my hand. 
let it focus and then take auto focus off okay sorry about that guys i didn't know i was that zoomed in you should have told me hey vicky i am making an album i've got the cover all made because people wanted to see the cut what the an album made like i made for my sister so i'm making it with slightly different inside pages my pages inside are going to have pockets to hold cards and tags and stuff that I've received <clears throat> from my online friends. So, on the short side, two and a half inches. I hope I did that at two and a half and not two and a quarter. Yeah, I did. Oof, I always... Okay, anyway. Half inch. Whoops. And six and an eighth. And six and three eighths. So I'm working on the pages now. Got seven to do. Of course, I mass produce, so I do them. Two and a half. And then half an inch. Six and an eighth. Whoops. This puts a quarter inch gusset in the middle of the page. Oh, something's wrong on that one. Oh, jeez Louise Jean. That's okay, that'll get covered over anyway. Six and an eighth and six and three eighths. Actually, we scored it at five and three eighths. Five and an eighth. <clears throat> All right, two and a half. Half inch. Okay, six and an eighth. That half inch is more or less for lining up it's not six and three eighths Should have done that at three inches, but anyway, half inch. Oops. Oops. Six and an eighth. Six and an eighth. And six and three eighths. Oh. at all. It's all right. Yay, Vicky. Good for you. All right. Six and an eight. Or I mean two and a half half inch and then six and an eighth I'm gonna keep the scoreboard tilted up so I can see better so don't mess up this time six and three eighths and one more 
see what I have. Now, this is going to go this way, so then this, okay, so these need to get folded, the center page ones need to get folded both ways. So that the fold up will work properly. All right, so then folds like that. All right, so there is the page. And I'll just do one because I don't know how many pages I'll get done. Now, you need to take off. No, you're not going to take off. Sorry. You're going to trim from this half inch score. You're going to trim the f bottom fold of the flap. I'm going to take it off. Uh, not going to take the whole flap off, I should say. You're going to take the bottom flap. All right, so you're going to just trim from the outside to that flap. Then this folds oops, under. Okay. And then you need for this side. All right, so now you're going to use these little pieces that you cut off. For each page, you need I'm just going to trim it first of all. Excuse me. What am I at here? Half inch, half inch, one and a quarter. So I need one and a quarter. And these are one and a half. So I'm just going to trim a quarter of an inch off to keep that straight press down on your thing drag the blade towards you okay Teresa hey wee hootie nice to see you all right I'm going to score this before I trim it down any further. So at 
I'm just going to put my quarter inch gusset in this. So I'm going to score at half an inch and then at three quarters of an inch. Okay. So this is to make my attachers or my hinges. By the way, for those of you who are newer, I call Judy Wee Hootie because she got to be Hootie because there was a typo one night in a late night Joycey stream. So I became Heeny because the J's all became H's because of a typo. So I became Heeny, she became Hootie, Joycey became Hoisey, and Joe became, well, you can guess what poor Joe became. And so then I called her, I kept, I always call her Hootie. And then Sarah from Scotland, wee Sarah, I was calling her wee Sarah, and she was calling me wee Jeannie. And wee Hootie was like, but I want to be wee too. So she's now wee Hootie. That's the story between, behind that name. In case you wanted to know, that is probably more information than you wanted to know. So these have to be two and a half inches long. So I will cut as many as I can get from each one. Two for each page. All right. All right, so that half inch score tape is too wide, so I'm going to use my 3 eighth inch, or no, quarter inch, express it tape, which is almost as good. And it's just paper to paper, no chipboard involved, so it will hold fine because there's no chip chipboard takes a little bit of a thicker adhesive and score tape is a little this is just as sticky as score tape but I don't find the adhesive is quite as thick so all right so what I've done so far is I took my took my 12 by 10 and a half scored it at two and a half on the 10 and a half inch side then on the 12 inch side I scored at a half inch then I scored at six and an eighth and six and three eighths. All right. Then I took the half inch of the fold of the pocket. Okay, I folded everything, folded these middle hinges, middle um, folds both ways so that the pocket folds. Then you take the eight, uh, half inch. That's the binding edge, and you trim just over to the score mark, and that folds down. And so then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach this to this folded in piece. Because I want there to be room in these pockets to hold stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Wee Hootie. What did I do? Did I do that right? What did I do? Oh. I didn't trim it off. Duh, Jean. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta trim that piece off. Because I wanted to have a quarter inch gusset so you sorry you peel that off then you line this up along your edge there all right there we go okay and then the other one on the other side come on hootie you can do it you know you can you can do it hootie
Okay. So, I oh, need another piece of tape here. All right, so you've got your quarter inch gusset there. All right, so I'm going to take this off, fold this up, leaving this one on for now. Just uh, take one off at a time. Oh, actually, since my quarter inch is not quite wide enough, I'm just going to put I'm going to put another row there right on the edge. It'll overlap the other quarter inch, but you need 3 8 inch for this. But I ran out of my 3 8 inch score tape, so. Well, you guys know me. I love numbers. I love measuring. Okay. Sorry, I'm off screen, but I'm just lining this up. <sighs> oh, I didn't score those right. Darn it all. I didn't score the half inch here, or the quarter inch. Oh dear, that is going to be a problem. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I have to score it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Meaning my page is gonna be short. Oh well, settle the bee. So I needed to score at two and a half and two and three quarters. I'll have to fix that on all of those once I get this one made. Oh yay, Dee Dee. Okay, cool. Oh bye Sandy. Thanks for coming. Okay. All right. All right. Now it will work better. Let's get this fold score. Okay. Here we go. Now it'll sit properly. All right, so the outside of the page. Now this one, I'm gonna get my, uh, probably could have got away with just an eighth of an inch, but it's too late now. Okay, you poor guys. I don't know how you survive without your math and your measure. Now this one, this side, because this is the, um, goes on the binding. So this side lines up with that half inch score, that mark that we made. Okay, so there, now we have those nice pockets, okay. All right, now, 
this old. Need some tape. I have to I have to think so I don't mess it up. Yeah. This side. Thank you, Dee Dee. Okay. So here's the book. Uh, Dee Dee, you probably didn't see the uh, cover done. There's the cover completed. Love the look of the burlap with this with this uh, line of paper. Very cool. All right. So now. This is going to go on the back side of the first hinge here. So I'm going to lay those hinges down out of my way. Take this off. And you want to make sure you don't go over that score line. Now you're going to go down inside. I'll try and make it so you can see. Going down, 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 down. And I should have used the quarter inch tape. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to try and roll it off. Roll it down a little. I can always put some powder over it and then yeah okay definitely have to use a quarter inch tape so that half inch is just a little too wide all right so I just put it onto the back side of that so when I cover up with my paper this side I'll make sure the paper comes right over this crack and then that'll cover that extra adhesive thank you Dee Dee I did went quite fast actually okay so that's that now there will be a pocket here too but it's not going to be a dimensional pocket it's just going to be pocket folded and it'll probably probably be of the paper all right so let's just cut i'm gonna do this one finished to the end and then i'll show you how i made the flips for the photos in my sister's album okay so okay now let's see let's choose a paper my favorite part of this whole thing so I'm gonna put the same paper here and here and then the same paper here and here and maybe and different across the bottom or something we'll see so let's choose this paper for inside here first okay i think i want let's see hmm, the writing i think so yeah i think i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this on the first two pages I'm going to do these cool numbers and letters on the other side. <clears throat> and then I think I'll use, no, I'm going to use this here because then I'll use the leftover on the bottom of this. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so let's trim these down. So now that these pages, let me see here. Uh, what do I need? Let's check. Because they're a little smaller. Ugh. 
get my ruler on the correct side here. I did order another Timmy ruler because I can't live without it. So, seven and a half by, and I want to go almost straight to the binding there. Seven and a half by five and a half. So, seven and a half by five and a half. But this side's not going to be five and a half. This side's only going to be five and a quarter. Seven and a half by five and a half. Seven and a half by five and a quarter. Okay, so seven and a half goes this way. Yeah, Paula, I have to go. I've got them stashed away in different places around my apartment. So, yeah. So I said seven and a half, didn't I? Seven and a half. And then one at five and three quarter, uh, five and a half. And one at five and a quarter. So normally I would do all my pages and then do all the covering, but just for time so that I can get at least one page recorded, completed, and then I might finish it tomorrow if no one's streaming in the afternoon. Maybe I'll stream and finish it. My archival black. Around the edge here. I won't use my ink pad for this because it tears up the ink pad too much. Sometimes I will if I am just doing a light distressing. Thanks, Eileen. The thing is, I know like uh, friends of mine at scrapbooking, you know, want me to make them albums and stuff. And it's like <sighs> they wouldn't pay enough <laughs> like you can't I just can't make things like this to sell I've made them for gifts but I just can't make them to sell because it would be too high priced you guys know what I mean so I don't mind making it for gifts because my time is my time my my stash is already bought for a gift no big deal my family all, all appreciates all the stuff I make, so. But to sell, no way. No one wants to pay 75 or 80 bucks for an album. And Hey, Carrie, nice to see you. Now, for this, it is just covering the page, so I can definitely use, if I can find it, oh, there it is. Hold on, I need to stretch again. I wish I had long arms, because it fell off the shelf. There we go. <clears throat> I can definitely just use my ATG on these inside pages. I just never use it on the outside or on the spine. Hey, Jillian. Joe is going to be on, yes, probably in about 25 minutes, which is why I want to kind of take this page through to an ending. Oh, hold on. My tape's going all wonky on me. Where is the... Oh, it's winding around that first thing on me for some reason. Hold on, it's winding. The sticky part's winding around that. There we go. There we go. 
So ATG tape for the inside page covers because it's not taking any stress or wear and tear. Like the cover and the hinges light. Hey, Jen. Nice to see you. Yeah, I guess with our time change, you get to come in a little earlier. I'll show you the album in a moment once I get this uh, pasted down here. a pocket album Jen some people wanted to see how I put my album together that I showed last week the album I made for my sister so several people asked for it so I'm making it for gifted cards and tags and etc so that they're not all just hanging out in my craft room aha uh -huh. Still, repairman has been there. All right, so let's get this guy. All right, so Jen, what I've done is I've made the cover. I used some burlap. Uh, it was 12 by 12 burlap, so I cut it down. I used that for the binding, and it worked perfectly. It worked really well. <laughs> Darling! <clears throat> okay. So this doesn't have to be five, uh, seven. I'm just gonna cut it at six to conserve paper because of course we have the pocket. So you don't have to have the paper go all the way down in the pocket. So I think I want it to have, ooh, if I'm going to, oh, I already took it out. Where is it? Never mind. I thought I already took it out. I did. This writing one. So I'm just going to cut this one at six. Oh, I don't need that out. Okay, then. because it'll be used on another page. And then five and not quite a half. Oh, darn it. That's okay. I can use that on something else. I cut the wrong one. Trimmed the wrong one. That's all right. Oh, Joe's on already? Okay. Well, yay! Jen, woohoo! Five and 
And let's to have. Oh, wait a minute now. Yeah, that's right. This side. And this side is five and a quarter. Now this side I'm going to have to use the brown ink. I don't have to do the bottom edges, only the side edges. This should be close enough. Well, I'm going to finish this page as Joe's usually on at eight. So my three hours isn't up till eight. So I've got 15 minutes. So if you want to go over to Joe, that's fine. I'm just going to finish up this. Uh, oh no, I think I have to do sepia. See, even the baby wipe doesn't take it off, so it really, it does work well. But I do have to do the brown, too, I think, on the edge. What did I do with the other brown? The other brown is darker, I think. Okay, I put it up in the black slot. No wonder it got me messed up. Okay, this one's not dark enough. It's not darker than the sepia, so. <laughs> and I just may have to add a smidge of black here. along the edge as well to darken up that brown. Eh, whatever. Whatever. And then just this side of this one. a darker brown so that'll have to do woohoo Carrie yay yes I did mine will be the afternoon because Jen streams in the evening. So. Oz oh, Gran is scrap and chair. Jen, put your uh, link in there or Eileen find it, whatever. For, for Cheeky Girl there. Cheeky Girl, excuse me. Ooh.
do this upside down so I can see the top edge. Make sure it's... Well, well <laughs> it's down. All right. I don't do embellishments for the most part because I love paper too much. Just saying. said I was going to wanted to use the leftover of this on the bottom of there so a half and five and a quarter. Excuse me. Heavens. All right. So. Obviously missed something in the stream there when I was cutting paper. Could be a good thing that I missed it. All right, ink sepia. Oops, sepia is under my browns. Oh, that's that's not my sepia. That was the red sepia. Sepia is the perfect color for these uh, tone for those uh, the reds in this paper. Okay. All right, I am liking my ink storage pad much. Uh, well, since since when is that not the case, uh, Carrie? Since when do we not have typo involved laughter? <laughs> so true, Dee Dee. Oh dear. Okay. Here we go. And then I'll show how I did the flaps. My sister's journal.
All right, so. So this is the DCWV Industrial Chic paper line, which is kind of like a, well, it's not a glossy, glossy finish. It's kind of like a satin, shiny, kind of really nice finish, actually. I like it. But it's not a paper you can fold, so it has to be used in the matting process. All right, perfect. There, so that's what a page will look like. All right, so there'll be seven pages that look like this. Now I have to put, um, I will figure out how I'm going to do pockets on this side. It'll probably just be a simple folded pocket, not with a quarter inch dimension like this one. <laughs> oh wow really Jerry Ann wow wonder if they are exactly the same size Jerry Ann because the recipe book for the color lab is based on a specific size spoon so as long as they're the same size that's great All right, so that's what each page will be like. So for now, I'm going to leave that. I'm not quite sure how that ended up to be almost too long when, well, it won't be when the others are in there because I have that measured, All right? Really? Wow. Well, I bought the eight, so I have one for each thing. So it's not like you can't reuse them. I'll just mark them with the right color. So I use them with the right color so we don't get mixed colors. All right, so now on my sister's, because it's for photos, her pages have flaps on them. Okay. All right, so what I did for hers, or what I should have done, I don't think I did it this way, but anyway, is I told my sister when she prints off her pictures, she's going to have to print them off at four by four, four by threes, because that's what I made the book which is easy to do at a Kodak kiosk at, at a Walmart or wherever. You just go in and you click collage and then you choose four by six and two prints per four by six. And then you just choose all your prints and it automatically sets them up on two photos on a four by six page. Hey CB. Oh, glue on your hands. Okay. And so what I did was, um, I started with, whoops, one, okay, so four inches wide, okay, because it was cut off an eight inch piece of paper and it was left over. So even though her pictures are going to be four inches, they'll fit on that directly side to side. And so, so then what I did was, I made them instead of three, I made them at three and a half. Okay. So there'll be a quarter. So there'll still be like a quarter inch on either side of the photo to make it look like a mat. All right. And so then I had one. Yeah. So three and a half plus a half inch for the hinge. And one of them has a quarter inch gusset. Okay, so three and a half plus half is four. 
and one of them is at four and a quarter. So one of them at a four and a quarter, all right, and two at four inches. So four inch by ah, four inch, doesn't quite make four inch. Well, I'll just, I'll use it anyway. Somehow that didn't work. Mm. Anyway. Then I took my scoreboard. And the one that is four inches, I scored at Four by four. Score at half an inch on one of the four inch sides. Okay. This one, we will pretend it's also four by four, but it's not quite four by four. Oh, yes, it is. What are you doing, Jean? Gosh, oh, gee. Okay, so four by four. Four by three and, yeah, three and three quarters. Okay, so four by four, so I'm doing that one. So two of them, I scored at a half inch. Okay? The other one, I scored at a half inch and at three quarters of an inch. Half inch, three quarters of an inch on the long side, obviously. All right, so then, oh, yeah, sorry. shorter one I didn't what did I do all right so the two sorry the two, four by four. Oh, I may have to go over this again tomorrow because I muff, messed it up I was gonna say muffed it up but that means something different to Teresa check my recording it's still recording according to me. Yeah. Yeah, I have to redo it anyway. <laughs> okay, Sharon. Okay, I'm going to, never mind this, I will do a separate recording for these flaps. So ignore the flaps, I'll do a separate recording because I, d I messed up the scoring and I'll just confuse you because I confused myself. I need coffee and I need some food. So thank you very much everyone for coming. I will um, try and stream tomorrow once I get home from school and get my feet up and something to eat. I will um, try to stream, finish working on my pages if you want to come over. And I will also show you how to do the flaps for the pages in case you want to do photos. Make it a photo album instead. Okay? So, I'll show you how to do that. Alright? So, thanks everyone for coming. Well, it's recorded, Sharon. It's recorded. Okay? So see you all. Bye. Let me stop recording. And I, I left the first part one at um, as private, so I have to go fix that too.